Okay, so what we're going to be doing for your big final project, uh, you're going to actually have to have a camera that flies through the everything you create. Uh, so it's going to fly through everything to show it off. Um, so we're going to use something called a level sequencer. Now once I show you how to do this with the camera, it's going to be up to you uh, to kind of look at how else you can use it. So the level sequencer um, is something you can use to do all these animated pieces. So you could actually animate blocks, you could animate objects, you could animate anything you want using this. Um, so for this example, we're going to go ahead and do it with a uh, camera. Uh, so we can actually have a camera and, and uh, have it kind of fly up the stairs or whatever. Uh, it'll be pretty simple. And uh, so he, this is how we go about doing that. So the first thing we're going to do is we need to actually grab the cinematic camera. So that's Cine Camera Actor. It's over here under Cinematic. So I'm going to go ahead and drag that and put it down. Unreal is automatically going to show um, what it sees right there whenever you have it selected. OK, so now what we have to do is we have to go to Cinematics, uh, Add Level Sequence. Uh, so it's going to ask you what you want to call it name. I'm going to call it uh, camera flyby. It's asking where you want it. I'm just going to put it in the content folder. That's fine. OK. Now, it's empty right now. So we actually have to add the camera to it, right? So we have to figure out what we're doing. So I'm going to click on this little add track. And it's going to say actor to sequencer. And I can see Cine Camera Actor 3, which is the one I put down. So I'll go ahead and grab that. And it actually adds it in here. So we have this transform value here. And we can see what it's seeing right there. Uh, now, this is all in frames. This top is in frames. This is 30 frames, 60 frames. And right now, we're looking at it uh, as 30 frames per second. OK? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and with the camera selected, I'm going to hit S. So when I hit the S key, that puts down this little red circle, which shows that it now has a keyframe assigned to it. OK, so I'm, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and animate it. So I always just like an animation, we have to move the slider first. So I'm going to go to 60 frames. So we'll say one full second. And I'm going to go ahead and drag this up here. And we'll rotate it around. Maybe push it back a little. There we go. And I'm going to hit S. So you can see it's going to draw that line for us right there. So now we have that line drawn. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and slide forward again to, we'll say, 90 seconds. It's fine. And I'm going to move it. Hit S, that's going to keyframe it. So now I want it to go down the stairs. So I'm going to go to 120. So I have a kind of zoom in on his face right there. There we go. That looks all right. So now what I can do is I can just hit S. And that keyframes that for us. And then we can go in and clean it up if we want to. So I want it to be right here. I want it to be actually lower. So we're looking at the side of the stairs. I think that looks cooler. So I'm going to hit S. And you can see that actually auto adjusts that whole path for us. I think I go through the floor right there. So let me go ahead and raise it up so we don't do that. There we go. Perfect. OK, so that's kind of it for the sequencer, right? Now, you have this red line here. And let me show you that you could go ahead and um, make this as big as you want. So you know, however long you need, you just go ahead and extend this out. Uh, and you can just kind of keep going. 300, et cetera, et cetera. Okay, 
So now I just made it 500 by clicking that right one. And then I can just click on this and drag it and it will now show me um, all 500 frames. Um, or if you don't want to see all 500 frames, you can be like, I would like to see frame uh, 30 through frame 100. So that shows you those frames. So you can see it's actually quite a bit more detailed that way. And I can still slide all the way through the 500. Um, now what's important is wherever this red line is, is the end of your action phase. So anything that happens after this red line will not be shown. Okay, So you always have to keep making sure to move that red line as many frames as you need it to be. All right, so that's it for keyframing something. Pretty simple, and you can actually do that with any object. So any object you can attach a sequence to and, and go nuts with it. Okay, so, and you can actually have a trigger, a trigger box call this level sequence. So, you know, whenever the player or a camera happens to go through a trigger section, it then plays an animation, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Uh, so let's go ahead and now actually add this to the level so we can see how that works. So I'm going to go ahead and close that, so we're done with that. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to come into Blueprints, and I'm going to Open Level Blueprint. And then I'm going to right-click and Event Begin Play. So that means whenever we start this event, whenever we start this level, uh, it's going to end up playing this for us. It's going to play the sequencer for us. Okay, so now what I have to do is I have to get references to the cinema actor. So I just drag that out. And camera flyby, just drag that out. Okay. Now, this is pretty simple. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a uh, play sequence player pulled out of this. So I'm going to go play sequence player. So play sequence player right there. Let me do that again, just so you can see it, because I clicked it really fast. So I'm going to go play, sequence, and we can see it's right here. So play, sequence, player. I'm going to click on that, and it's going to give me this little connection here. So I'm going to drag this up here, and I'm going to connect them together. So now when we again play, it's going to play this sequencer. However, by default, it's not going to show the camera, right? If I just compile this and hit play, uh, we'll just be playing the character, and the camera will be moving, but we won't be looking through it. So we have to do another one of those set view blends, um, so we can actually see that. So I'm going to go ahead and pull off of this, and I'm going to turn off context sensitive. And I'm going to do set, set view target, turn off context sensitive, and there it is, set view target with blend. Right there and then we're going to plug our cinema actor 3 into our new target there and then we have to do one more thing we have to get our player controller or it'll get really mad at us so we're going to get player controller and plug that into target self so i'm just going to compile this hit save and now if i hit play on the level it runs through the camera Stares at the guy's face for a second, and then it gives me full control to actually continue walking through the level or whatever. So that's pretty much it for level sequencer. Uh, well, for sequencing things, it's really, really easy. Um, you just create that level sequencer, animate them, and then you can call them with the event begin play, which you can only use one time. Um, or you can use trigger boxes to trigger things animating. Um, so that's kind of how it works. So I hope uh, it made sense.